Now, the TIs who have the most views aren't really being um, gang stalked. You know, it's basically part of their street theater is to have uh, people claim to be TIs and to, you know, you see, a real nigga will always know. You know, some of these niggas, they try to, they try to be smooth by not going on camera in their videos so that they can kind of throw you off because they know that, you know, there's telltale signs. And if you look at somebody, you can kind of tell. You know, you know the difference between somebody who's really going through it and somebody putting on an act. You know, they might go out of their way to act, but you can kind of tell that guy's an actor. He's going out of his way to act. You know, even professional actors couldn't pull it off. Some of these people I've heard have acting lessons, you know. There's a lot of people who, who pretend to be like me, you know. Some of them deep down want to be like me. The rest of them just, it's just their job to pretend, you know. And so they play the role. And I try to tell you people, they're, they're allowed to say a lot of things and there's some things they can't say. You know? And I see this time and time again. There's a lot of fake-ass motherfuckers. Let's face it, you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Gang members are government bootlickers. There are gang members and their affiliates working for mental health. There's the kind of go-between between gang members and, you know, mental health. And, and that's, how they, that's part of how they plot together for gang stalking. You know, there's no way around it. There's a lot of fake motherfuckers, wannabe revolutionaries. More appropriately put, fake revolutionaries. They think that, oh, you know, they, well, they, they know they're fake revolutionaries. The problem is you don't know they're fake revolutionaries. You know, some of them, you know, you, you pretty much can tell who they are by how much exposure they get. In this day and age, it is very hard to get a lot of exposure and to be real. The way Malcolm X was able to do it, which is different than King, King was pretty much controlled opposition. But the way Malcolm X was able to do it was that he was part of a controlled opposition group, the Nation of Islam. And then he broke away from it. So he already had the fame from being with this that, that group. You know, there's a lot of fake ass motherfuckers. You know, I go out of my way to get views. I post in forums and blogs and, you know, and it's hard for me to get views. And it's no question that, you know, the people who are getting a lot of views they are government bootlickers. I've seen this gay guy, just complete obvious perp. He has about 50,000 views. Obviously a perp. The only time I get views is when some atheist dog is trying to expose me, quote unquote, you know, and there's really nothing to expose, so they end up looking stupid. I end up debunking the shit out of them, and they end up having to distract their viewers until they can come up with something better, and then, you know, the cycle starts all over again. Okay, there's a lot of fake ass motherfuckers out there. I know who they are, you know? Some of them I pretend, I comment on their videos, I even give them thumbs up, you know? Because I'm out maneuvering them. I'm using their videos to get people used to the idea of gang stalking, and then when the time comes, I'm gonna pull their card like everybody else's. Know this, I have a list of a lot of you fake ass TIs, and it's sad, there are more fake TIs that I come across than real ones. Part of it is that the social media is controlled by them, you know, Google, which is on record, collaborates with the NSA and so on and so forth, bought YouTube and they control the, you know, the suggested videos, the views, the viewers, and so on and so forth. Okay, there are very few real TIs, if any, they get a lot of exposure. There's a lot of fake ones. You know, so the same reason when, you know, Robert Lifton, I believe his name is, he came with, there was a lot of people talking about the same thing as him. But his books were the ones, his book was the one that gets the most exposure. You know, you know who's a fucking bootlicker by how much exposure they get. Let's face it, the Crips and the Bloods are fucking bootlickers. I used to be a Crip. I guarantee you they are fucking traitors. Period. I guarantee you they will do everything in their power to try to make me look bad. They will make up any story. They'll say, well, you know, he didn't put any work. They'll make, you know, complete lies. I put in more work than almost, all, you know, anybody. You know, my name my name was the bell that rang the loudest. Not only was I a crip, I was the guy you aspired to be, you know. And trust me, no one's more disgusted than somebody who puts in more work than everyone else and has a bunch of cowards, lowly dogs, trying to expose him, you know. Trying to, well, really fabricating things to expose him. 
to quote unquote expose him. You know? So basically what you have is a bunch of people who are fake, who I have no doubt, they haven't done it yet, but I know it's gonna come to that. They're gonna say, well, this guy was really fake and you know, he was really a wannabe and he's really a rich kid and so on and so forth. You know? Because they're fake revolutionaries and they don't prove of what I'm doing. And you know this. And if there's any doubt in your mind, just think about it. Think about people like Tigger who, you know, purchased his way into being a, a Hoover, right? And there's other people like him. You know, rappers that, you know, are allowed to claim gangs because they're playing ball with the New World Order and they're paying cash to the group that they're pretending to be. You know, you have to really think. You have to really examine people. There are many telltale signs and I can't tell you what they are. You know, real niggas know what they are. Because, I mean, I can, but I can't tell you because, you know, it'll make it easy for them to cover it up. Because these people go, you know, they do a lot to try to cover up the signs of being a fucking bootlicker. You know, it's just like, imagine a cop trying to pretend to be a gang member. There's a thin line between that and a fucking informant pretending to be a real nigga. And a, and a controlled opposition member of a black militant group or a gang pretending to be a real revolutionary. I guarantee you this right now, there is no such thing at this point in time of a real revolutionary who has a lot of exposure. No such thing, it doesn't exist. These people spend literally billions of dollars. Okay, one of the biggest government expenditures, and we all know this when we think about it, is controlling political movements domestically and foreign movements as well. It's one of the biggest government expenditures. It is impossible, impossible at this point in time to be a real revolutionary and to have major exposure. Occupy Wall Street, controlled opposition. The new Black Panther Party, controlled opposition. Democrats and Republicans, obviously, controlled opposition. It is impossible, okay? And you're gonna see it also play out in the views. You're not gonna see me get thousands of views anytime soon. Even though I'm going to go out of my way to promote my channel every day, and I have all these channels and so on and so forth. Why? Because I am not controlled opposition. Because I have skills that everyone would respect and would force them to hear me out. If I was given even a, a little bit of media attention, it would quickly snowball into a whole lot of attention. And so they're going way out of their way to keep that from happening. There's a lot of fake revolutionaries, fake gang members, everybody's on, on, in, a, in a major form, every major movement is controlled. Every rapper, every major hip hop artist, okay, control. Some of these guys will go to jail. Some of these guys will go to prison. You know, for the same reason that rappers, you know, it's good for their careers for them to go to prison. It's the same reason for an informant or a fake revolutionary, it's good for their careers. It's good for what they're trying to do for them to go to jail and prison where they're looked out for by prison gangs who are also controlled opposition. These prison gangs have been around a long time. I don't personally don't know if they're controlled opposition from the start. I strongly, you know, I highly suspect that they are, you know, I don't know. But I do know this, after this, all this time, snitches, homosexuals, secret society members control prison gangs, major street gangs, period, period. You know, if you were to hang out with these gang members, and to truly examine them, you would see it in you would see it in there. You would see it. I'm not gonna tell you, you no, know, I can't tell you the telltale signs. But there's signs that you would see that, hey, there's something not right about these people. You know, why do they seem like they're acting? How why do they you know why are they really sh from the gang they claim to be from, but they seem like they're acting? It's not just that they're acting tough or trying to act like a gangster to fit in. There's something else going on. And there's signs. Period traitors. I go as far as to say I've never met a popular gang member in my entire life or even heard of one that wasn't controlled opposition. You know, not all gang members are privy to the knowledge of being a bootlicker and so on and so forth. You know, the realest gang members are the ones you'll never hear of. The ones that put in the most work are the ones you'll never hear of. Period. The controlled opposition, they will rise to power and have fame and so on and so forth. One of the dirty secrets of this game. That's why it's called a game. Because the people who designed it see it through to the finish. They're the real winners. You know? So why you people, you know, have pictures and posters of controlled opposition and so on and so forth. 
You know, I want you to keep that in mind. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a Black Panther shirt or a picture of Bob Marley and so on and so forth. Okay, but keep in mind that almost every single person that is commonly respected is controlled opposition, a bootlicker, a traitor to God, a traitor to humanity. These people will never be half the man that I am. They'll never be a fraction of the man that I am. But they will get a whole lot of attention, a whole lot of praise, and a whole lot of perks from being a fucking traitor. You know, I would rather have my dick chopped off and shoved up my fucking ass and super glued there in a way that I can never remove it than sell out to a bunch of satanic spiritual bottom feeder dogs and to be one of you pussy ass controlled bitches.